Hey guys, Silent CL here. Welcome back to another Utah Macross Gacha video. This time around, we've got probably Milane's cutest costume ever. <laughs> if you guys are into Sailor Fukus uh, or anything that is like Sailor design, you know, it's it's all good. Um, we all have our fetishes. I am not particularly a Sailor Fuku fetish kind of person. But you know, the episode play, it, play illustration is just too adorable. And Milane aside, the main character to me, I think, for this episode play belongs to Guvava. So yes, let's go take a look at Guvava's brand new episode play. Uh, and see, you know, how does it fare? To be honest, you know, the, the wet t-shirt design is all good and that, you know, with that skimpy looking costume, Milane loves to show off her style and of course how flat her stomach is, you know, but you know, that's just Milane being Milane uh, as as normal as she does, you know, with her standard across seven costume that is really riding up her, you know. You, you guys know what I mean, so anyways, um, to me personally, this, this is the main picture for the plate. Look at that, look at that, look at that cute Guva. <laughs> so serious with that moustache and of course the captain's hat. It's, it's, it just screams he is the main icon for this episode play and not Milane at all. <laughs> okay, so all that said. Let's take a look at the fully evolved plate and let's break down the stats of this episode plate and see how does it fare uh, on its own and of course with all the other 6 star episode plates out there that are well top tiering I guess so 3878 total score it's definitely a powerhouse episode plate it's got the points of a top tier episode plate well balanced stats all around, focusing more on charm. As usual, pay attention to the other three divas who can use this episode plate because they definitely might be your waifu or husbando. Depends if you like Basara. And of course, um, let's talk about the center skill. Uh, if you see this here, you can probably tell that you know this center skill will only activate if it's for that particular series of a song. If you can call it by the heart series, love series, whatever you want to call it by. Um, of course, it only affects the person that is equipping this episode plate. So that's kind of a bummer. 35%, not the best percentage like we said before. 90 is still the best. 35 is a meh, you know. Alright, so that is not important. We all know just by looking at the center skill, this is definitely meant to be used as a live skill support so let's move on to the second page which is the most important thing so oh it's got a high score achieving active skill oh that's pretty interesting I guess more plates are coming out with this kind of combination so five seconds seven put 70 percent boost in score that's pretty okay not the best we've seen it's definitely um, half the amount of time that is activated than you know, a uh, good high scoring episode plate does. Uh, and of course, yeah, the percentage is, well, definitely slightly lower, but still acceptable. Life skill, now that is what we are here for. Combo bonus. So, yes, it is definitely a meta life skill that some of you guys consider it as. You know, but to me personally, I still prefer my score and repeat. <laughs> Uh, but combo bonus is definitely useful if you can sustain the bonus um, for a long duration song especially you know but sometimes you gotta give way with combo bonus because things can just get a bit too difficult uh, especially for fast paced songs that we currently are facing in this red boss event so yes even though this episode play is meant to be used for the current event I would still suggest the um, <laughs> score repeat, you know, because uh, unless you're that good with 
full comboing an extreme difficulty song or maybe if um you know hard or yeah what was the other difficulty <laughs> uh was it super hard i don't know i, I i'm starting to forget <laughs> what difficulties there are because i've been playing so much of extreme lately i really lost in touch with the other difficulties but you know forgive me because uh, I've been playing the game so lazily <laughs> recently, <laughs> just using all those skip tickets and just running the events, and you know, spending less energy <laughs> trying the full combo and extreme song. So yes, the lazy man's way has really made me forget lots of stuff. <laughs> but who can you blame? You know, Dana has made it so easy for players right now to just breeze through the game. And you know, not get tired of it somehow. <laughs> Alright, let's take a look at the last page and see if this episode flick comes with a special note attached to it. Because if it does come with it, this plate is definitely going to top tier. Ooh, just short of that special note, and that's kind of a bummer. But overall, still a very good plate. It's got very good total score, it's got an awesome life skill. You know, uh, once I guess everyone gets good at <laughs> full comboling, um, well, the hardest difficulty you can handle. So, oh, I just remember it's very hard. <laughs> okay, so yeah, we've got easy, normal, hard, very hard, and extreme. <laughs> it, takes, it takes a bit of time for the brain to kick in, uh, you know, considering that I just came back from work and, you know, my brain is going to shut off very soon. So aside from the awesome total um, score and that awesome life skill, of course, we cannot forget that, you know, the costume, the brand new costume points that this plate comes with, that is definitely the main priority aside from, you know, attaining the episode plate itself. So if you guys don't have an awesome life skill for the pink series, uh, just like this one for Milane's brand new plate, definitely go for it. If you do already have something similar, I would say, you know, it's okay to pass on this, especially if Milane or, you know, Milane, if you guys are still fussy about how I pronounce her name. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so if you guys aren't, um, you know, waifus, or rather, if she's not your waifu, I mean, how can you be your, how can you be her waifu when maybe you're a guy? I don't know. You see, I'm rambling nonsense right now. So <laughs> anyway, guys, um, either way, if Milane is not your waifu, and of course you're not keen on getting her costume points, it's fine to to stay away from this gacha, especially if you're planning to save up for your future husband or waifu's gacha, you know, because you're a free-to-play player, it's all good. I mean, uh, considering, of course, if you have already gotten an episode plate similar to what Milan has got right now. So, as usual guys, I'm just gonna do a discounted pool because that's all I can afford right now. Um, there is, however, a discounted sale going on right now. If you guys are up to date with all the Utah Macross news that I've been throwing out on my YouTube Facebook page, the links to the page in the description down below. And of course, yes, Dana is trying to leech our money <laughs> away as usual because, you know, the Nyan Koji is still ongoing and of course a lot of people are still trying to maybe evolve their episode plates um, that is only exclusive to the Nyan Koji or, or, you know, um, maybe they've already fully evolved it and they want to get more copies to get that luck value. So yes, you can invest into more Singing Stones right now because they are discounted. Apparently there's only 3 sets to, uh, to obtain. I mean, if you, if you actually have the money to, you know, go for it, go for it. But like I mentioned on my YouTube Facebook page, uh, the second round for Macross, uh, no, no, not Macross, I mean Valkyrie's 4th Live, uh, merchandise second round is about to be announced in two days time so depends on who you are a fan of I suppose if you're a fan of Valkyrie I would highly recommend you to shift your money to the 
live merch instead. Of course, considering if you're able to purchase them, um, the some countries have a problem with uh, shipping, I guess. And of course, uh, you definitely need a um, third-party handler to help you um, to get those merchandise within local Japan addresses first before you can actually attain them to your own country. So yes, a lot of finances is definitely going to be needed for official merch, um, you know, as usual. So, <laughs> alright, enough rambling about all the official goods and how the companies are trying to absorb all our finances away during this harsh period of time. Um, let's just go do the pool. Hopefully all the bad luck has washed away. Okay, we get a decent speed of loading right there. Oh god. <laughs> that is just horrible. Dana, when are you going to give me back my luck? Look at that! Not a single red box! <laughs> On the first blink! This is horrible! Oh god... Just give me one episode plate with custom points, 2 million C4. There we go! That's what I'm talking about! And I'm good! <laughs> I'm gonna probably end up throwing all my episode off pieces into unlocking this costume because this costume is just too adorable and not too unlocked. You know, it would be nice if Milane performed in this costume and Guvava sits on her shoulder or maybe somehow or other it gets animated in the kind of stuff. That would be totally fun to watch. Okay, so not a very appealing <laughs> rare episode plate but this is the main thing that I wanted to see a banner popping up saying that I can actually use episode ops to unlock Milane's brand new costume. So, with that all done and said, guys, as usual, let me know your thoughts on the episode plate and your thoughts on how the Macross franchise just can't stop leeching your money away. <laughs> Leave a like to this video if you love my impromptu, un unscripted rambling of nonsense. And of course, subscribe to the channel if you have not subscribed just yet. Why are you not subscribed? Oh my goodness. And of course, you know, stay fresh, stay safe, stay clean. <laughs> At home, stay home! <laughs> I'll see you guys soon. Bye!